Exertrise, Wikipedia Audio Exertrise was an Exer gaming company founded in 2000 by Gareth Davies. Their flagship product was the Exertrise Interactive Exercise Bike, an exercise bike that uses several built-in video games to motivate users. Davies, a Ph.D. physicist and a keen fitness enthusiast, invented the Exertrise Interactive Exercise Bike to solve the motivation problem with respect to cardiovascular exercise. Observing that traditional exercise bikes simply discarded the energy input of the cyclist as waste heat and sound, he conceived of a system to put the cyclist's energy to use as well as giving direct feedback of their performance. The Exertrise system combined the addictive qualities of video games with the health benefits of exercise. Unlike previous attempts to virtually cycling, few of the games on the Exertrise bike bore any resemblance to cycling. Instead, the cyclist's energy was virtually used and this virtual energy used to power elements of the games, all of which were designed specifically for the platform. The games also controlled the cycle's resistance and theme with the games. The Bike The Exertrise Bike was one of the first Windows XP embedded systems in the world. Bill Gates showcased the Exertrise Bike at the Consumer Electronics Show 2003 during his keynote speech. The Exertrise Bike was also featured on BBC's Tomorrow's World in 2002 and televised on the show again the following year when Davies was nominated for the Tomorrow's World Innovation Awards. The bike incorporated a gaming platform, an LCD screen, a gamepad and an armrest with a patented system that simultaneously raised the screen and armrest when the seat was raised ensuring correct posture in a single movement. The system was covered by two other patents, one for a motivational system to convert cycle speed into a virtual energy, a second covered the gearboxed resistance unit that dispensed with the need for a large, separate flywheel. Solitaire the player had to cycle in order to move the cards. Higher value cards represented higher resistance, gems, a column-style puzzle game in which the players cycling slow the descent of falling gems. Matching gems of same color exploded them, allowing players to clear levels in order to complete them. Different color gems controlled resistance levels, space tripper, a scrolling shoot em up adapted and licensed from Pom Pom Games. In the ported version, the firepower of the ship was linked to the cyclist pedal speed. The player could also optionally charge the weapons system for increased firepower, which also increased pedaling resistance. Orbit, a multiplayer game in which players on linked bikes competed in an arena to collect gems scattered around levels for points. The bike also had a manual mode which allowed it to operate as a standard exercise bike, complete with a simulated lead control panel. The Exertrise bike originally shipped with four games. In a later release of the bike's software two more games were added. Although the Exertrise bike was received enthusiastically by consumers and press alike, Economic factors at the time led to financial problems early on. The high manufacturing cost of the bike at low volumes combined with a poor funding environment following the dot-com bust and 9-11s meant the company never achieved profitable status and was forced to close in 2004. Maze a Pac-Man-style game in which the user guides a cartoon ladybug around amazed trying to avoid being eaten by hungry spiders, Light Cycles, a multiplayer game inspired by the famous scene in the 1982 film Tron. Features Games Demise